everyone, welcome back to Travel 101 and welcome back to another Digital Nomad video. Now, today I'm going to teach you how to actually find and book cheap flights every single time. There literally is a way to do it and I have the hat and the website to recommend to you right now. I consider myself quite well travelled. I've visited 35 countries, lots and lots of cities, some multiple times and I feel like I have really found a way to make it affordable to do that so often. Now, on my recent trip to Europe, I flew at one of the busiest times, which is over Christmas and New Year's, and I actually managed to get those flights so cheap, and I'm gonna run you through exactly how I did it. So a lot of this video will be reflecting back on that trip. And I just wanna let you know this video is not sponsored by any of these airlines, any of these websites. These are ones that I genuinely use, and I actually book with this every single time. Firstly, be flexible with your travel dates. Some of the most expensive times to fly are during peak weather seasons such as summer over Europe or over holidays. You can however find affordable flights over that period of time. What I do is I head over to the Skyscanner website and I actually search by the entire month, not by a specific day. So I won't be exactly sure what day I'm going to fly in or what day I'm going to fly out, but that's the best way to get a rough idea. So if I wanted to go on a two week holiday, I'd be searching over the entire period of let's say November and I'd be flexible on when I leave and when I depart. As you can see, it brings up lots of different prices, so you can have a play around until you find one that fits in your budget. The next one is to actually be open to a long stopover. On my flight to Europe, I actually had a 24 hour stopover in China, which I actually didn't mind whatsoever. I actually did the 24 hour transit visa, had a nice transit hotel, had a good refresh before my second long haul flight. Now this is actually a great option if you are flying through one of the major cities like Singapore airport and so on because you do have the option of doing a little bit of sightseeing, kind of like a mini holiday in between. These flights will generally be cheaper as well, so make sure you keep an eye out for a long stopover if you don't really mind the wait. The next one is to don't always fly direct. So with my flight to Europe, I actually needed to get to Edinburgh, but it was actually cheaper for me to fly from Australia to Barcelona and then get a budget airline flight from Barcelona to Edinburgh. And that's actually the great thing about Europe. There are a lot of low cost carriers that end up being cheaper. So if you can, mix it up a little bit and you may actually be able to find a low cost carrier to actually fly you to where you need to go instead of booking the entire flight through one airline. Now I know this next one isn't for everyone, but it is to be open with your destination. Now, one of the things again that I love about the Skyscanner website is you can search by everywhere. I love this because if I'm unsure of where I wanna go, I actually just search by everywhere and it will bring up a list of countries and actually a list of cities within these countries as well that you can fly to. This is a great opportunity to explore somewhere new that you've never been before or maybe explore somewhere that, is, that has actually never been on your radar. The next one is to not disregard budget or low cost carriers. Now you will see a lot of negative reviews about a lot of these airlines but the thing about them is you need to realise you do get what you pay for. So you cannot be expecting five star service if you are flying a low cost carrier. So definitely look at them, keep your options open because it will save you a lot of money and by doing this you may actually have more money to spend on maybe a hotel or to extend your holiday slightly as well. And the final one which is a very common mistake that I see a lot of people make is to not book too early. A lot of people think that if you book nine months ahead you're actually going to save a lot of money which is not actually the case at all. Definitely find that two to three months before your actual departure is the best time to book those fares because a lot of these airlines are going to want to fill those empty seats. So keep an eye out and just try and be patient and not book too early. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to link below Skyscanner, which I highly recommend for searching. I do recommend checking them out when you do book your next trip because honestly, they save me so much money. Right guys, let me know where are you going on your next trip? Don't forget to subscribe as well and always we cannot wait to see you in our next video.